the team keep it clean uh before we get into this video uh, i gotta let y'all know we're good uh, as far as everything with the hurricane we're good we're straight um i feel like we got like a million messages uh over the past like 24 hours which i really 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 appreciate a lot uh people just checking in making sure everything was straight uh hoping that everything would be straight and i appreciate y'all we're good um but at the same time uh it's a lot of people that are not good so if you got people in Florida, in South Florida, uh, in Central Florida, uh, in Northern Florida, wherever in Florida, check on them. Even if you didn't hear about their particular area being impacted by the hurricane, please check on them. Um, because a lot of people lost power. A lot of people lost their homes. There was a lot of flooding in a lot of different places. So please check on them because they will really, really appreciate it. Because a lot of people, they lost a lot. And they need like all the encouragement that they could possibly get and whatever support you can offer. If you can be there physically for them, do that. If you can be there monetarily for them, do that. If you can just be there emotionally for them, do that because they need it uh, big time. But I love y'all. I really, really appreciate y'all because uh, y'all care. Like, like we always talk about Team Keep It Clean. It ain't just for YouTube videos. It ain't just for the, uh, it ain't just, it's not just for that. It's like a family, man. So I appreciate y'all uh, a whole lot. And they will appreciate y'all just as much, if not even more, uh, for the ones that are really suffering right now. So check check on your people uh, throughout Florida, man. But I appreciate y'all. Um, now, on to good news. Well, slightly better news. Oh, I, I got to gotta issue an apology, too. Got an issue of, an apology because the video yesterday, I did something different with the settings when I edit the video. And it just... It didn't turn out good. Um, the one about the Ronnie Stanley slander, that episode of Question from Subs, uh, it was just, yeah, it, that, that was really annoying to me. Uh, when I, cause, and it's, it's funny because every single video that we upload, um, especially the edited ones, I always watch them first before I upload them. And that was the one time I decided not to watch them. Like, like you know what, let me just upload it. And stuff like that happened. So my apologies. I know that was probably very annoying to watch. For me, it was very annoying to see. Um, cause I'm over here talking like this and the, and the words are coming out like two seconds. Like it is just really, really annoying. And I'm, I'm no perfectionist as y'all know, we are definitely not a perfectionist, but that was just very annoying to me. Uh, cause I, I, I just don't like stuff like that. Now, uh, positive note before we get to the sad stuff, uh, Lamar Jackson, he won, uh, AFC, uh, player of the month, not the week. He should have won the week. He should have won a week a couple times, but he didn't win AFC player of the uh, player of the week, but he won AFC offensive player of the month. So shout out to Lamar Jackson for that. Um, that just just continues to show, man. He's, he's been doing this thing uh, through these first three games of the season. Just been killing it. And we hope that he gets even better. We hope that stuff gets even better. Because uh, if it got even better than what it is now, ooh. And we know not every game he's going to go off like that. I mean, we hope he does, but we know it's going to be some games where struggles a bit more, uh, defenses may play him a bit differently, and, and the Ravens may not have all the answers for it right away. Um, but it's it's part of the season. It's part of the grind. It's part of making adjustments. It's part of him doing his thing. It's part of just everybody. So that's cool. And one last thing before we get into the bad news. Um, I got to say, y'all y'all got to chill out, man. Y'all got to chill out uh, because we got a new Team Keep It Clean channel member. Shout out to my guy, Lou, uh, King Lou. Shout out to you and shout out to your son. Um, but then we got another uh, uh, Flex, Flex Gambino. He decided like, hey, you know what? I'm going to become a, a Team Keep It Clean channel member, but I'm also going to become a Team Keep It Clean patron. So I'm like, man, y'all got to chill out with all the support, man. Y'all be going crazy with support, man. Like crazy with it. But I appreciate y'all. A whole lot, man. Y'all y'all just, every single day, y'all just kill it with support, man. Whether it's becoming a patron, whether it's becoming a channel member, whether it's just watching the videos, taking the time out of your day, every day, to watch the videos. Because there's a lot of people that I see that comment on every single video. Some people comment once in a while. And some people comment every day. Some people comment once a week, once a, whatever. But I appreciate it. And thank you all for leaving likes on the videos, too, because that really helps spread the word. All right, so we've been talking about a lot of other stuff, and I love y'all so much. I know it's going to be somebody, oh, hey, why didn't you get to the news, buddy? But we're here now. So John Harbaugh, um, after the game uh, on Sunday, John Harbaugh, um, 
he let us know without letting us know. This is why I, I continue to say that with John Harbaugh, with his words that he spoke about Michael Pierce, it sounded like his season was over. It sounded like he was going to be out for a very long time. Uh, because John Harbaugh said, Michael Pierce, he has a decision to make. And usually when a coach, especially John Harbaugh, talks about a player has a decision to make, that usually always alludes to that player needs to decide whether he's going to try to go through rehab for an injury or just going to try to have surgery for that injury. Um, so today, Michael Pierce, he announced it on his Instagram um, that he would be having surgery for uh, what his torn biceps. Uh, so with him having surgery, that uh, puts him out for the remainder of the season. So that is a wrap on Michael Pierce for 2022. Um, unless by somehow some, but yeah, probably not. No, it, that, that, that ends his year. Um, so that sucks. That's terrible. Uh, that is uh, bad news. Michael Pierce, in my opinion, has been um, probably the most underrated signing of the Ravens free agency. Now, I said underrated. I did not say the best signing. I didn't say the flashiest signing. I didn't even say the most impact signing, even though he's been really good. He's been impactful. But I think he's been the most underrated signing. Can't call Marcus Williams an underrated signing because that was $70 million. So you sign somebody for $70 million, you expect them to make $70 million worth of plays. Uh, but um, with, with Michael Pierce, he was very underrated. And, and a lot of times, and I've told you all this before, when I reflect back on Ravens offseason, uh, a lot of times I forget that they was they signed Michael Pierce. Like I remember even um, during the preseason, uh, well, I think it was week one, and they it was on the first drive uh, of the preseason. I forgot who the Ravens played. I feel like it was so long ago because we in regular season now. We going into week four, but anyway, Ravens were playing whoever they were playing in week one of the preseason. And I saw this defensive lineman. He was all over the, all in the backfield. I'm like, man, who, 58, who's that? Oh, ah, uh, that's Michael Pierce. Man, I forgot all about him. And he has been disruptive. He's been making noise. He's been making plays this year, man. So that, that makes this suck even more. It's, it's, it's a terrible situation. Um, because he was, uh, he was, it was a welcome back party. He, he left Baltimore a couple years back, went to join the Minnesota Vikings. Um, it didn't work out there. I know he sat out for the COVID year. Then he had some injuries and whatnot. And the Vikings were like, uh, we're going to go in a different direction. Um, and then, um, he ended up coming back home. He ended up coming back home to the Ravens where everything started. And he was off to a really, 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 really good start. And now that's a wrap. It's over. It's finito. It's done. So you got to feel for Michael Pierce, man. You got to feel for him mentally. Um, because when you go through a process like that, you're like, man, I'm going to take a chance on myself. I'm going to go jump out here. Uh, see, we'll see what else the world has to offer, the NFL world has to offer. You go to a new team, um, and, and then things just don't work out. And then you have an opportunity for redemption. Uh, and then when you get there and things are going smoothly, now it all comes to a crash. So that that's really unfortunate for uh, for Michael Pierce. It sucks for him. Um, but now, what do the Ravens do? Because I know, of course, there's a saying that Ravens fans, I'm sure, are tired of hearing. I, 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 I know we are very tired of hearing this saying, but it is what it is. Next man up. Next man up. Um... So who was the, the, the next man up or next men up? Um, well, I uh, feel like Travis Jones, who, who just came back from injury, played in his first game last week against the Patriots. He is going to go through an extreme growth process that uh, well, he wasn't expected to take on this large of a role, but his role will certainly be increasing a lot, a whole lot. Uh, he will have a lot of a lot more added responsibility put on his shoulders uh, simply because he will get a lot more playing time. I believe he played like 29 snaps uh, this past week. Uh, so I would expect that to double. Um, so Travis Jones, he's going to be called upon to, hey, rookie, 
you're still a rookie, but yeah, it's time to really grow up now. Um, Justin Matabike. Matabike, who's um he's been making some plays this season. Um, first game he was loud. Second game he was a little bit quiet. Then the third game he made some noise again. Um, but he's gonna be called upon that much more. Um, Broderick Washington, draft pick from a couple years ago. He also he's gonna be relied upon that much more. Um, cause these guys they 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 gotta hold it down. And of course Calais Campbell, um, he's already relied upon a lot. Uh, so his, his role his role won't be changing. Um, but the Ravens also have some options. They got some options on to where they could end up getting some help. Um, so I, I would expect them, uh, with Michael Pierce being uh, having a surgery, I would expect them to put him on injured reserve uh, probably today at the latest tomorrow. But I, I would think it would happen probably today. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But um, it's tough. But they could uh, they could dip in free agency as well. They could go to the practice squad first. I know a popular name that's been floating around as far as giving the Ravens help uh, is Isaiah Mack. So that could be an option. Um, but if they feel like, hey, you know what, we want to bring in a veteran too because we got a lot of uh, young guys, young guys that can make some plays, but we still want that veteran presence uh, at uh, the interior of the defensive line. You got some options out there. You could uh, bring back another familiar face. Uh, that be uh, being Brandon Williams. Um, now, even though that, that might get a little awkward, like, hey, Brandon Williams, welcome back. Oh, hey, y'all, hey, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Y'all still got my jersey? My, my 98? And Travis Jones gonna be looking like, Ooh. so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, um, oh, well, maybe we'll see how it goes. Maybe not. Um, but, you know, with Brandon Williams, um, last year just, it was, it was kind of rough. Um, it was not his best year. Uh, we saw a, a lot of decline. He was never a pass rusher. So that was never expected, but even in run defense, um, you saw this uh, this decline there. Um, so I wonder if Ravens will take that into consideration, um, or they will continue their reunion party that they really been trying to have this year. Remember, they tried to they tried to bring back Zadarius Smith. To, <laughs> they said, "Hey, hey, come on, come on, come back, come back home, baby." But yeah, that that didn't quite work out so well. But it's all good, man. Um, there's a Dominican suit too. That's been a name that he hasn't retired, so he's he's still out there. I remember I heard he was talking to the Raiders or the Rams before. I think it was the Raiders, but that obviously nothing happened with that. So he's still out there. So that could be another option for the Ravens if they want to go that route. Um, but they they have options. I know somebody mentioned in the video Linville Joseph. Um, so Ravens gonna have some options uh, on on how they decide that what their next move is gonna be. Uh, on the interior of that defensive line, but all the young guys, they um they got a tough task in front of them. Um, Ravens run defense, uh, it hasn't been what it was. Uh, I really the Ravens whole defense hasn't been what it was, but they still been for us some turnovers. So hey, gotta take the good with the bad. Now, and we're gonna be having a video later on, um, probably tomorrow. Uh, talking about the Ravens' defense specifically and exactly what's going on with it, uh, the issues, and some possible fixes for it. Uh, and I'm sure y'all will really, really appreciate that because we got a very, very special guest on uh, for that video. So that, that video is a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, we'll see how the Ravens end up addressing this thing. Uh, but anyway, Tim, keep it clean. I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. Again, remember, please check on your people in Florida. We're good. I appreciate y'all checking on us. We're good. But check check on your people, your friends, your family, anybody that you know in any part of Florida uh, just to make sure uh, they're okay. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Michael Pierce, unfortunately, is now for the remainder of the season. We out.